This presentation is about the water quality monitoring happening at Channel Islands Harbor. My name is Rihanna Torres, and this is for ESRM 462, Coastal Marine Management. The Channel Islands Harbor is the fifth largest harbor in the state of California and is a waterfront resort, recreation, and dining marketplace. It contains 166 acres of water surrounded by 126 acres of land and supports more than 25 vessels, four yacht clubs, and nine full-service marinas. It is also connected to four residential communities, including Seabridge, Westport, Mandalay Bay, and Harbor Island. In June of 2018, the harbor experienced a water degradation event resulting in brown, murky water and the death of various marine life. After experiencing more events like this, the Channel Islands Neighborhood Council and the City of Oxnard grouped together and formed a citizen science water quality monitoring team called the Clean Water Team. This is a part of the State Water Board's SWAMP program and this stands for the Surface Water Ambient Monitoring Program, and they have over 150 citizen monitoring groups in California. The next couple videos are gonna be from Chuck Carter. He is the treasurer and water team lead, and he's gonna be discussing what they do and some of the water parameters they work with. Hello, my name's Chuck. I'm a volunteer with the Channel Islands Neighborhood Council. We formed the Clean Water Team to test the water quality in Channel Islands Harbor. We created a short video to show you what volunteers do to collect water samples, and we hope you'll come out and join us and volunteer to help us. Thank you. The Clean Water Team will take field measurements of each of the sites. We're using a meter to test the pH, the dissolved oxygen, and the salinity. These probes are submerged about three feet underwater and they will record onto this instrument. Press the start button, wait for a reading, report it to the scribe. pH is 7.75, salinity 1.4. We measure turbidity using a Hawk turbidity meter and we sample using this beaker that's previously been triple rinsed. We grab our sample from below the surface try not to get any contaminants from the surface of the water. Then we add the uh, sample water to the cylinder up to the, up to the line. We cap the cylinder, dry it off with Kim wipe, then we add the oil thin bead of oil to the sample, wipe it with the uh, velour cloth so it's optically transparent. We then set it into the meter with the arrow facing forward, close the meter, power it on, and then read the turbidity. We do this three times, report the result on the data sheet. Last semester, I was able to take ESRM 300 Coastal Contaminants Ecotoxicology class, where me and some students got to volunteer with Chuck Carter and the Clean Water Team. And the next couple slides are gonna be some photos of me and my group doing some water quality samples with some of the instruments we have on our campus. So in these two photos, we are using the YSI EXO2 SON, and we're using it at two different locations. This one on the left is from the harbor, and that's me placing it in there. And then on the right is another student and Viviana, and they're using it, um, a bucket with the water sample in there. So there are various sites that the clean water team takes samples from, but this one was really interesting and is why I included in this presentation. So this is on West 5th Street Bridge. And what is happening here is there's this creek and this creek has an agriculture field next to it that has like various fruits, um, especially strawberries. 
And what happens here is that they spray for insects and other rodents and stuff and use insecticides and pesticides. And what happened is, is that in this photo, the very top photo, you can see that there's two poles and this is where the water drains out. And so all that water that's contaminated gets into this creek and goes down and it goes down into the water that's underneath this bridge. And so in that photo, you can actually see Chuck and another volunteer collecting a water sample from a bucket. Um, and that's actually what's happening in the right photo. So we use that bucket of water to collect our water sample again with the sawn. And then we use the color meter to look at the phosphorus levels um, in that water. And this is what that sample looked like. So it immediately reacted with the phosphorus method that we had in there. And so it's a very blue color, meaning that there's very, very high levels of phosphorus. I am currently not up to date on what the Clean Water team is working on, but if you are interested in volunteering, you can check out this link, www.cineighbors.com, and get in touch with hopefully Chuck Carter and seeing what the team is currently working on. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my presentation. All the information within this presentation was from the following resources. So you can check out the California State Water Resources Control Board, the City of Oxnard, and the Channel Islands Harbor Water Quality, and also see the orientation for the Clean Water Team put together by David Morris.